Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for your goodness to us, for the incredible blessings that you pour out on our lives every day, Lord, for the incredible riches that you have blessed us with, Lord. Father, we thank you for the beautiful countryside around us, Lord, for the wonderful seaside that we can go down to, Father, for all the incredible aspects of nature, Lord, that we get to enjoy on a daily basis, whether it's birdsong, Father, or the bees in the spring and the summer, Lord, we just thank you so, so much for the blessing of nature and the outdoors that we can enjoy, especially now more than ever. Lord, I thank you for the new life that is starting to pop through, for the daffodils and the crocus and the things that are starting to grow. We thank you so, so much for the incredible way that you bless us with your beautiful natural world around us, Lord, that you created it from scratch with no point of reference for us to steward and take care of, Lord. We thank you that we can go out and enjoy it, Lord, that we can enjoy the fresh air that you've provided, Father. And Father, we just thank you so much for um, the way that you are looking out for us all the time. That we have the opportunity to see things with your Holy Spirit vision. Lord, that we have the opportunity to see things with a divine perspective and with your wisdom rather than the wisdom of the world that we can choose not to be tossed and shaken by the waves, Father. But when we fully put our trust in you, Lord, we can stay rooted because you are our anchor. We pray that you would inspire us to be like the tree in Jeremiah that's still green in the heat and still flowers in the drought, Lord. That that trust in you and that faith in you would prevail so much in our lives. We thank you for the joy that comes of just knowing that you've got it, Lord, from the joy of knowing that you are taking care of us, that you have our future in your hands, Lord. We thank you for all of the incredible blessings and promises that you lavish upon us, Father. All the things that you hand up to us on the plate, Father, whether it's peace, Lord, we can choose to have peace, Father, in the midst of awful circumstances. Father God, you are incredible and it is a joy to be your child, Lord. We thank you for choosing us before the creation of the world to be in you, Lord. We thank you that you predestined us, Father, that you've given us the Holy Spirit as a seal, as a deposit for eternity to come, Lord, and you did it freely and with love and joy. Thank you, Father, for the incredible blessing of knowing you. We thank you for this country that we live in. And we praise you and thank you for the fact that the number of COVID cases are going down, Lord. That the number of people getting vaccinated is going up, Lord, and there is hope on the horizon. Thank you that we can live in that hope, Father. And we continue to pray for our emergency services, our frontline workers, who are working tirelessly to keep us safe. We pray for all of those who are working hard and might be feeling the strain we pray that you would give them supernatural strength and energy. Father, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and all that you have done. Lord, I pray that you'd help us to live in hope and joy in the coming days, that you would inspire us this week, that you would speak to us and that we would have our ears open to hear what you might be saying to us. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. Amen.